for stopping by the Kim Caldwell Show. I am in studio today with London and Blair, two dynamic producers and songwriters from the Bay Area. What's up, what's up? Hey, how you doing, Kim? How you doing? Okay, I just gotta cut to the chase. Okay. What is going down? We're releasing our first CD together, London and Blair, unsigned. Okay, well, let me tell you, I was really excited to be able to get you guys in the studio. They know that I try to get the story behind the story. And, and what's so exciting is this is a compilation album. Can Absolutely. you tell us a little bit about that? Mr. Blair? Um, I like to call it a songwriter, producer album. But yeah, it's a, or a song where we're featuring other artists. You know, we, uh, he wrote lyrics and melodies and I wrote music and, you know, put it all together and uh, I'm excited that we were able to bring in a lot of musicians right. and singers to kind of feature them. You know, it wasn't just about just us, but uh, bringing in a lot of Bay Area musicians primarily, yeah. yeah. And I mean, I yeah. thought that the idea was so phenomenal. How did you guys come up with the concept? Well, you know, we, we worked together, we saw working together uh, a few years ago and we were writing for other people and I thought, I said, wow, you know, it'd be great if we write and produce our, yeah. our own songs, yeah. original songs, and we solicit invite in some artists to come in, you know, and perform these songs. So we got uh, uh, got on the phone, started calling people, started meeting people, uh, and it was just a blessing to meet uh, some of these artists. Uh, we have Timo Gillette, we have uh, Tatiana, who made an appearance on American Idol. We have this amazing Latin group, uh, Evolution. We have jazz great Brian Copeland. We have um, Rico Martinez. We have Stephanie Harwood. We have Mia Zuniga. Not leaving anybody out. Uh, my boy, uh, Byron Gibson. Now you guys didn't call me for my little tambourine solo on no, this album. You didn't what is up, up with yeah, that? You was being high for loose. We called you like four or five times. You were first on this, right? I don't know. Yeah, I, like, I, I play a mean four. tambourine. <laughs> I want to be much. on the next album. Oh, you got it. Okay, so what parts do each of you play in this? Well. Okay, that dynamic duo you said, right? Right. If we were superheroes, uh -huh. I'd be Batman. Uh huh. He'd be Robin. <laughs> Right? Oh, well, are you going to say well, something if, different? If, I don't know. If, He's if, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> if, if, if we were part of Jackson family, he'd be Michael. I'd be Tito. So, you know, I write the lyrics while well, I produce the music. Okay. And, that's, and we collaborate that way. Okay. Now, do either of you sing or play any instruments? or? This guy plays five instruments. He sings. Wow! Can, can, can we get a little sample right quick? A little doo-wop? Just a little, a little something? Yeah. <laughs> we're going to go in the studio. We're going to give you something. Okay, you guys, let's go in here. This is where the magic happens. I can hear Mr. Blair making that magic right now. studio why Mr. Blair here has to deal with my singing it's not that atrocious but you know what I'm getting better am I getting better why no comment <laughs> no comment he's actually okay. getting better though okay all right nice so I'm going on tour after this I'll get emails so anyway this is a song I wrote it's titled if I tell you I love you inspired by this very beautiful lady by the name of Christina Tapia on the album is being performed by Havon Blair, which is actually Juan's son here. He's a proud papa, as you can see. Just a little bit. Rather run away than face this Or maybe you just need to be free Yeah My emotions are no secret I admit that I have feelings But that's between myself and me I know you don't want a commitment You'd rather keep your heart at a distance So baby, please don't get this twisted Yeah What instruments 
do you play? Main instrument is keyboard. Uh, but I'll touch on bass, little guitar, uh, little sax. You know, that's my first instrument was drums. So. And what's your passion out of all the instruments? Uh, really just uh, writing songs, like getting songs completed yeah. out there, you know. Kim, let me tell you something. You go see this man perform live, he's on the keyboard. He goes underneath the keyboard backwards like this, playing like this. Hitting every note, every chord, and just drives the audience crazy. Wow. Yeah, he, wow. he's Well, I need That's an invite to, to one of the next performances that yes. uh, you, you plan to uh, bless the stage with. Now, you know, you're being pretty modest. We, you know, we're hearing a lot about him, but we know that, or well, I know that you have an illustrious background in entertainment. And in fact, you actually sit in my seat sometimes this is so true. and do interviews. Yeah. So can you kind of give us a little history of your background in the arts? Well, you know, I tell you what, I started off um, acting on the stage. I should have thought I'd follow through. You guys have never heard of Denzel Washington. Uh oh, <laughs> but Mikhail that, London. That's you hear right. that, ladies? <laughs> Mikhail <laughs> London, Denzel. Um, <laughs> I performed uh, some musicals. Uh, I worked with San Francisco Opera for like uh, ten years. Did. Uh, uh, some great operas with uh, like Porgy and Bass, Samson, Delilah. Wow. Only as an extra, not singing. Don't, don't get that twisted. <laughs> um, and but you know, I started writing uh, lyrics uh, like over 30 years ago. At the time, though, I was playing, learning to play the piano. Okay. Um, I started off with the drums, and I was taking music theory, piano lesson, and then trying to write. And plus, had a little baby, had a job. I'm like you know, this is too much. So I took the path of least resistance. I did what came natural to me, which was write the lyrics. So if you guys out there are struggling with learning music, stick with it because I didn't know at the time, but they go hand in hand. And so, had I not met this guy, we probably wouldn't be sitting here today. And how did you guys meet? That was just through, a, um, I, I, I'm trying to find the right term. It was just, we were guided by God, basically. Mm. Some people, I was on the plane going to LA. This guy sat next to me. We got to talk about music. And he said, you need to meet a friend of mine, Juan Blair. I gave my address. He sent me uh, Juan's information, which I didn't think I would ever get. Right about 10 days later, I got this thing in the mail. So I'm like, okay. Didn't really think anything of it. I'm just starting out. Put a truck in my car for whatever reason. About two or three weeks later, I'm, I'm at the store shop and I'm singing. Walk past this guy. This guy's going, hey. You're singing. You're singing? <laughs> I was singing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you, you, you know what? <laughs> so anyway, this a different guy, different city, uh, tells me about Juan Blair. I said, wow. wait a minute. So I go to my trunk, open it up, and it's the same guy. So I said, you know, this this was meant to be. So I called him the next day. We uh, set up an appointment. I walked in the studio with a song and a dream, and this man has made many of my dreams come true. Wow, how amazing. But not that way. <laughs> <laughs> Musically. <laughs> Let's not go there. So now, um, in your family, mm -hmm. you have other artists as well. I right? have an amazing Just... sister over in Taiwan, Zarina London, who actually gave us our first professional. Uh, we wrote uh, four songs for her album, uh, uh, Because of You. We also wrote this group called the, uh, um, what are they called? Sunshine Singers. We yeah, wrote a song, yeah. which was Dare to Dream, the first song one and I worked together on. And uh, my amazing niece, Latoya London, um, who, from American Idol, yeah. we were working on a couple of songs for her. And um, my cousin, uh, Willie Sistra, played bass guitar for Barry Wright for like uh, eight, nine years. Wow. So, again, What's happening? The release of London and Blair Unsung. The 12 original songs. The release of London and Blair Unsung. And where can we find it? Online, iTunes, CDBaby.com, Amazon. Also, we have hard copies for sale. We're going to have a CD release party, which you guys will be hearing about very shortly. And um, hopefully, uh, we're working on a deal to get it uh, distributed. Awesome. Well, thanks again for uh, coming in. Thank you for joining me on the Kim Caldwell Show. See you next time with the story behind the story.